So here we are in uh, sunny Geneva in the wonderful Aston Martin driven by the dynamic CEO Jean Lacoutre, Jean Lambert. And here we have an indemnity uh, form that he signed that says, uh, I do not suffer from epilepsy, heart conditions, or any other medical conditions. Which is excellent. Very, very life affirming for the rest of us. So maybe you can uh, hand it along. And Jean, tell us a little bit about this car that you're driving today. Uh, we, are, we are in the Aston Martin Rapid. Uh, give us the opportunity to go more than two in a car. Fantastic. More than two in a Aston Martin car. Yes. I guess that's the reason why people uh, do buy that car, that's to have uh, enough seats and, and to be in good it, conditions with good people. Is it true, uh, Jerome, that, uh, that you have the speeding ticket in Switzerland very high? <laughs> you see just be in front of the, the speed control. Uh, yes. Indeed, indeed that, that's not very, very affordable. Yes. In somehow beyond a certain limit, Yes. It begins to be part of your, uh, I would say, it can be a percentage of your salary. So, so for example, if you got one of these speed uh, tickets, it could be millions of dollars. <laughs> we speak from an association that is uh, eight years old, uh, which is, by the way, one probably one of the oldest uh, uh, or longest, if not the oldest, longest partnership existing between a, a car brand and a, and a watch brand. When we used to speak from that at the beginning, it was a description of uh, of what we could share and what could be the common uh, values. And it was very descriptive of something we were able to analyze. Now we speak from our common experience, common life, common experience during this, all these years because as much as it's hard to find a good partner, it's hard to, uh, to find a partner with, uh, with whom you want to, uh, to further uh, develop activities and ideas. Of course. And uh, beyond the values that we shared in terms of inventiveness, you keep the relationship and you keep having a good time together because uh, you are capable to, to do things, to develop things uh, that make sense for the two partners. You know, these the sayings that say, uh, uh, walking on the shoulder of giant. Huh? Yes. And, uh, in some house, it's the same uh, kind of approach as the two maisons first have. They know where they're coming from, uh, why the house is so, uh, why these houses are so respected and so admired, and that link to a lot to the consistency. In the geometer line this year, we'll discover a brand new product called Sphero Tourbillon. And this geometer, a Sphero Tourbillon, is a brand new uh, multi axis tourbillon. Very interesting watch in terms of technical uh, conception. Yes. As you said, first it's based on the geometer uh, structure, movement structure. One part of the movement dedicated to uh, the uh, hour and, uh, and minute and, and the time set and uh, on the indication, and the other one just pouring. Uh, all uh, the escapement, all the escapement system, and as we link it to a tourbillon, a multi-axis tourbillon, uh, you are capable to uh, to have the best of two worlds, the ultimate precision that you have already uh, in the other multi-axis tourbillon of Jaguar Lecoul, such as the Jaguar tourbillon, and to combine it with new functions that could not be possible without this architecture of movement. For example, a flyback on the second that requires a particular construction. Well, you cannot have it in a, on a regular tourbillon. With the Sphero, you can have it. So watch is 42 millimeter, a little bit less. I would say the movement I had and the structure of the movement, a little bit less than uh, 13 millimeters, a little bit more than 13 millimeter. So the watch is a very classic uh, and, and elegant watch that you could wear every day. We met already a couple of times. It's, I say love fine watchmaking is a, is a big fan of uh, all these technical aspects. I would say we'll dedicate a big part of uh, what is the result of being uh, that ambassador for, for the watch to one to some of the charities he is supporting. A thing in which we believe at, uh, as well at Jeje uh, at Le Coult. The good thing with Clive, I said uh, that the, the intensity that he has in what he does. And uh, every time uh, we've been in contact with him uh, for quite a long time. And one of the first connections was linked to Aston Martin at that time. It was the first watch he was wearing for us in the collection. It was now four or five years ago. Whatever we propose, uh, if it makes sense, of course, uh, you find him with you. We do believe that uh, cinema is in terms of art, in somehow uh, what Jean Le Coultre is in fine watchmaking, very linked to something that, is, that has, again, deep roots into the past, uh, but also that by its ability to, uh, to capture uh, what is the world today, uh, to create uh, some elements that can uh, be source of uh, alternative, 
and also a source of emotion. Because when we say at JGR that we want to, to make discovering um, new fields of fine watchmaking, ultimately uh, that what we always see in the eyes of, uh, of the collectors and buyers of JGR Local that this sudden light uh, linked to the emotion, this pleasure of discovery. You turn your reverso, uh, you admire a fire tourbillon, a gyro tourbillon, and then suddenly uh, you see how much, how far these watches uh, are capable to, to create something which is so rare today. Uh, the surprise uh, of, of discovering something you haven't seen before. Uh, what is important for us is that the watches are capable to write their stories. You know, as this year we are we have been along uh, with the 80th anniversary with the Reverso. Remember uh, how we opened the eyes when we saw uh, the stories of uh, the King of England. We saw uh, the stories of uh, the Prince of Denmark. It was explaining uh, and showing and, and explaining their relationship with the watches. Uh, we love to see this link and this connection as a link uh, to the time uh, to the time of today, and we are quite sure that. Uh, that's part of the grand histoire of uh, of the watches uh, of the watches of of today. Günther Blümlein used to say, "Jeger Lecoul is a reference in fine watchmaking." He said it in 1987 because he was referring to the culture. He was referring to the way we are doing the watches at the manufacturer. Uh, he was as well considering the, uh, the 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 signature, the classical signature of Jeger Lecoul. Um, for sure, uh, uh, the trend of these days are, I would say, underlining how much Gégère Le Coul can be a reference and how far Gégère Le Coul is important uh, when it comes to set uh, standards in terms of uh, classical style, uh, but also in terms of uh, manufacture, uh, in terms of uh, integrity when it comes to the manufacture work, and finally as well, uh, purely in terms of performance when it comes to function. The minute repeaters, uh, new age uh, has been created by Jeger Le Coultre. Huh? I remember my friend a couple of years ago, where at that time you used to consider a minute that a minute repeater had to have, I say, some characteristic. I say the answer at that time was no, no, just music, which was a good way to avoid to speak from the characteristic of this uh, of these watches. So, um, and you will see this in this SCHH how far these words and these characteristic uh, have been influencing others.